Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight's video will be focused on the narcissistic supply, especially in reference to narcissistic parents and their children. So what is the narcissistic supply? It's literally the fuel and the blood, sweat and tears and everything that they suck out of you that they need to sort of uphold this narcissism they need you you are very extremely vital to the narcissist um they especially attract people who are empaths people who are codependent that's like the number one dynamic codependency um so if you're the child of a narcissist you are not viewed as an individual you will never be viewed as an individual you are never looked at as a separate human being with separate rights and separate thoughts and feelings and wants and desires that is not recognized with a narcissistic parent so uh, me personally I grew up in the home of a narcissistic parent and I was never allowed to have my own mind I grew up in a system that was under complete control and everyone in the household contributed to my father's narcissistic supply that he needed. So you either gave it to it willingly, you were a codependent, so you willingly gave it to him or it was completely sucked out of you. You actually had no option. So let's talk a little bit about what they need. You are there as the child of a narcissist and focus on the way I put that it's not as if you're just your own person here and you happen to have a father who's a narcissist no you're like an extension of them that is how they view you the child of them so you're there to project whatever image they want from you oftentimes narcissistic parents expect perfection from their children they want their children to be pre perfect. They have their own ideas and everything set out for their child. Now, of course, when you become a parent, you have your wishes and desires for your child. But your wishes and desires, once that child is able to make their own decisions, should not override their own wishes and desires. So it should no longer just be about, I want my child to be an attorney versus what your child wants to do. And the narcissist doesn't understand this. They look at you sort of like how you view your arm. You don't view your arm as an individual. You view your arm as a part of you. And that's how the narcissist views their child. Their child is literally a part of them. You are here in place on this earth to do as I say, how I say, and when I say it. And that is how they view you. So they project things onto you and you are a reflection of them. So since they consider themselves to be perfect, you have to be perfect. Um, they use you to prove themselves to other people. So if you've grown up with a narcissistic parent, then you know this to be true. They don't know how to love you, but they show that love, that fake false love, and give that fake false love in front of company, in front of other family members, in front of friends and neighbors, and... They are basically using you to prove to other people that they are this great parent, that they love their children so much. And if you are a child who gets straight A's or you're really good on the soccer team or basketball team or whatever it may be, then they totally suck that up as their accomplishment. It's not your accomplishment because remember, you are an extension of them. It is their accomplishment. And now they want to sort of around, parade you around the neighborhood and show you off because really they're showing off themselves. Um, they need you there to stroke their ego. So they will constantly tell you stories over and over and over again where they are the hero or they are placed in the limelight. And they are telling you these stories because your job is to say, Oh my goodness, that was so great. That was so amazing. You're so amazing. And they constantly need this from you. They constantly need the supply. This is a big one. You are there to make them feel great about themselves and to recognize their many great accomplishments. That is one of your sole purposes. Um, they need you to manipulate you. 
They need to control you. These are all things that are a part of the narcissistic supply. It's as vital as a fish needing water. It's literally that serious to them. Just like how we all need food and water and air to survive the basic essentials. That is what a narcissist needs. They will go absolutely crazy if they don't get it. And they are determined to get it wherever they can get it from. This goes so deeply that a narcissistic parent is only interested in you if it is going to benefit them. So, for example, they are only interested in the things that they want to do and they will go to the extent of, it, of assuming that the only tasks and fun things and activities that you like that they like to do is also what you like to do. You don't have your own self-interest and if you do they have absolutely no interest in participating in those things with you. So therefore you are only getting love and attention from your parent when it's involving something that they want to do. And because you want to spend so much time with them and you want to be around them and you want that love and attention, you do whatever it takes to get it. So you hang out with them and you do things that you really don't want to do because you know that's the only way that you're going to be able to get attention from them. And what you're really doing is providing them with that narcissistic supply. And some of you may question and say, well, what happens if you are able to pick up on their cues and what they're doing and you just totally shut down from them or you don't engage? They will completely withdraw from you. You like no longer exist. It's either you're going to conform and you're going to be a part of this narcissistic supply or you are not going to exist to the narcissist because when you resist them, they may argue back and forth with you for a while because they love that. They want to get that control and that reaction out of you. But if you decide that you're not going to participate in this argument and you no longer have anything to say, they will slowly but surely start to pretend like you do not exist. Now, if this is a friend or someone you're in a relationship with, um, someone you work with, a neighbor, you may be able to accept that. But it's a little bit harder and a little bit more of a sticky situation when it's a parent, um, the father or mother of your children, your boss, someone that you have an intimate, close relationship with to where you can't just simply cut off things because they have no problem cutting you off significantly once you cut off that narcissistic supply because that is the entire basis of your relationship. They only continue to talk to you and deal with you based off that supply that they desperately need from you. Once again, it's like taking the fish out of their water. If they cannot get that water from you, they're going to go somewhere else and get that water. That's exactly how it goes. So it's either you're going to give them that supply or they're going to cut you off and give you the silent treatment or they're going to get it from someone else. So this is just a quick video on narcissistic supply. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your comments, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for listening.